Okay, we're also going to be heating up during this um, titration. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a stir bar into my first solution to titrate. And we need to heat it to about 60 degrees Celsius. Um, so I'm going to put my stir bar in, put it onto my stirring hot plate. So this time we're gonna stir and heat at the same time. And then once it's at that uh, temperature um, between 50 and 60, about 60 degrees Celsius, we'll go ahead and start that titration. Okay, so I just put my thermometer in there so I can monitor the temperature. Um, once that solution gets um, to about 60 degrees, I'm going to take the thermometer out um, or kind of rearrange things so that I can titrate. So we still want to uh, heat while we're titrating. So I'm not going to take it off of the heat or anything, um, but this is our setup. We're just waiting for it to heat up um, and take the initial um, volume. So why? Okay, so our solution is about at 60 degrees. Um, so I'm gonna just leave my thermometer in there to kind of monitor the temperature while I'm still titrating. Um, but I have taken the initial volume and I'm ready to titrate this first um, sodium oxalate sample. So the initial volume in our burette is 0 0.23 milliliters. And so I'm just gonna start slowly adding this um, potassium permanganate until our solution turns pink. Um, so just as a warning, sometimes the immediate like first drop will turn it bright pink, but then the color will go away. So we're looking for that hot pink color or a pink color to persist in our solution. Um, so the initial volume was 0 0.23 milliliters. So again, this pink color should go away in just a minute. Um, once it does, we'll start, we'll continue titrating. That was not the end point. So remember for part B, we're doing this titration so that we can calculate the exact concentration of this potassium permanganate. Uh, then in part B, or part C, excuse me, in part C, you can use the exact concentration of your potassium permanganate to figure out how much oxalate is in an unknown sample. Okay, so at the end of that, I probably should have added that a little slower, but here we are at a pink color that is persisting in our solution. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read the final volume so we've reached the end point of this titration. Um, before I read that, I'm going to um, just start, go ahead and heating up our solution for um, sample two. This is gonna go into a waste container and I'll start heating up uh, sample two for part B. So the final volume for trial one for part B is 25.59, 25.59. And then we'll let this heat, we'll heat up. When it's about 60 degrees, we will titrate again. The second trial of Part B is now at 60 degrees, so we can go ahead and start the titration now. Um, so our initial our initial volume uh, for the burette here is going to be 25.59 milliliters. 25.59 uh, milliliters for the initial volume trial to Part B. Remember that pink is gonna go away those first few drops. It's probably, I would guess, because the um, potassium permanganate is not at the same temperature as our solution here. It's probably why it turns pink. Um, so now that it's gone clear, we can go ahead and finish titrating. Here, I do wanna pay um, close attention to how low my um, potassium permanganate is getting in the burette. Uh, in case I can't finish this trial with the amount of potassium permanganate in our burette. Um, if I feel like it's getting close to those 50 lines down here, um, then I will stop and then I will refill it. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen. So you just wanna make sure that you keep a careful eye on that.
Okay, so we do have that pink color in our solution. It does not seem to be going away. Um, so I'm gonna, going to go ahead and turn the stirring off and the hot plate off uh, and then read the burette. I'm probably gonna move the burette so I can see it a little bit better. Um, and then we'll come back with the third trial. Um, so between the second and third trials, we will need to refill our burette. Um, so when I come back, it will be refilled and our third um, trial will be ready to titrate. Uh, before we move on to the third trial, I am going to go ahead and read the, the final volume for trial two. So the final volume for trial two is, the final volume for trial two is 47.38 milliliters, 47.38 milliliters. Okay, so I have refilled the burette for trial three here um, and for part C. So our initial volume for trial three is 0 0.76 milliliters, 0 0.76 milliliters. My temperature is about warm enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and start titrating. Um, that pink color staying that long, it might be because I didn't have the temperature quite warm enough. It's about at 57, um, so it's, Still warming up to the about that 60 degrees so I'm gonna go ahead and continue hydrating. okay so here we are at the end point so I'm gonna go ahead and take my initial um, or my final volume so the final volume for trial 3 of part B is 26.50 26.50 